Hello there lovely viewers. Today I decided to make another video on how to get started uh, in Daisy modding and how to join modded servers using the official launcher. Once again, perhaps some of you have come directly from console and bought a new PC and joined the PC Master Race. Perhaps some of you have been watching uh, Twitch streamers streaming Daisy and you want to get into modded servers. The launcher is fairly simple. Uh, and we'll go over the process now in getting mods installed so that you're able to launch onto a server of choice. Bear in mind that this video was made uh, at the present update of 1.11 for DAISY. So the launcher may change in the future, but I imagine that the general functionality will remain the same. So let's start by going to the Servers tab. As you can see, by default, it will start in the Favorites tab at the top, which will probably show no servers. You have the official servers here, and you have the community servers, which are typically the ones which we want to be connecting to, as they are going to be the modded servers. If we move over and click on the community servers tab, you will see that in theory, you should therefore get all of the servers being refreshed, which are the community servers. Uh, in this case, we're going to be joining, um, uh, there's a selection of servers by, um, by Spaggy and Wayward Jack, uh, which I always connect to when I am streaming. They're, I found them to be super stable, uh, generally always populated. Uh, some big streamers have uh, connected to these at times to play on as well. Uh, and generally, they're a lot of fun. They are typically mostly vanilla, but Namausk is a great way to... Uh, get started in the modded daisy and these servers will work perfectly for that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to type in spaggy. And there we go. We've got some servers coming up. It's still obviously doing a search through, um, but typically we're going to be joining one of these servers. In this case, we're going to join Namalask Hardcore 1. Um, you are able to make a favorite so that you don't have to keep searching it through the community list by just clicking on the star button. Wonderful. We go back to favorites now. Should see Spaggy's server here. There we go. Not very complicated so far. Nice and easy. Um, all we have to do is click on the join button and we will start the modding process. When you click the join button on the server that you wish to connect to, you will see that you get a new window. This new window will present information like the IP, the map, which is uh, running on this particular server, and all of the mods which are required to connect to this server. All of these mods will be hosted on the Steam Workshop, which is where all modders place their files. And this launcher is a nice convenient way to be able to subscribe and download all of these mods required to be able to connect to the server. Any future updates by any of these mods will be automatically downloaded by Steam when you load it up first thing in the morning, for example. So in this case, we're going to go to the bottom and do Setup DLCs and Mods and Join. Be presented with the following window and you'll soon see that some of the, the uh, mods start to download. This obviously will depend on your internet connection speed. We'll now wait for all of these to finish downloading. Once all the mods have finished downloading, the game will automatically attempt to connect to the server that you've chosen, in this case, this one. Let's explain a couple of the other tabs that we have. We have the Battle Eye tab. You typically want to always make sure that this is enabled. It's the anti-cheat software for DayZ. We don't, know, we don't want no cheaters and hackers in our servers, obviously. Uh, and then you have the mod section. The mod section will list all of the mods which you've downloaded, not just for that server, but for all servers um, on DayZ which you typically connect to. Um, usually when you want to uninstall mods, for example, you may, not, you may no longer play the game and you wish to free up some space on your drive, you'd have to go through Workshop and unsubscribe from all of them one by one. There's a nice button at the top, More, Unsubscribe, All Steam Workshop Mods. This will then uh, mark the Workshop to remove these mods, and when you close down the Daisy Launcher, it will then remove the mods automatically from Steam. Great. We also have the parameters section. The parameters section will start in the favorites tab and you have your usual things which you might want to start the game with. For example, you can enable the command line and add any additional arguments. In this case, I'm, I've added a couple of extra ones based on my, uh, my CPU, which is a, an eight core 16 thread. 
and I've enabled the no pause, which is supposed to allow the game to run even when the window does not have focus. Uh, unfortunately, that typically doesn't work. So when you're alt tabbing out of the game, it tends to pause it and you can't hear audio in the background, which would be very useful. Perhaps they'll do that in the future. You then have the all parameters tab where you can scroll through and see all extra things which you might want to enable. Uh, and each of these can be added to the favorites tab by clicking on the star on the left. You also have the options at the top. You can click that launcher options and you can specify things like where you want your mods to be located and stored. And that's all there is to it. Nice and simple, not very complicated and an easy way to get into modded servers. I highly recommend that you try modded servers as some of them are amazing. Uh, once again, Spaggy servers, recommend them. Um, I will include a link to uh, Spaggy himself on Twitter. Uh, he tends to post updates on his servers. Uh, and also there will be a link to the Discord server for more information uh, should you want to see what's going on in regards to their servers. Uh, hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, I'd really appreciate a like, maybe a subscribe, tick, tick. Uh, and in the meantime, I wish you a very pleasant day. Bye.